Hello everyone, welcome back. I am the Grand Cat and welcome to another Grand Cat review. Today we are going to be looking at the modern Amy from the Sonic the Hedgehog. This is the modern version as opposed to the classic version which we'd already reviewed a little while ago. Ten videos ago in fact, uh, at the beginning of this recording session. And she comes with her Pico Pico hammer which is very very cool to see. So this is the first one in the line of Jack's Pacifics. I don't think it's been re-released yet so I think you can only get this in this one group of figures. Of course it comes with the Neon Sonic, Neon Tails, Neon Knuckles and Amy is the brand new figure. And it says here in the description, a pink hedgehog who wields a huge hammer called the Pico Pico Hammer. And well that is an accurate description of what Amy is. So let us open Amy up and we will see exactly what she is like. Very stuck to open. Again, we do not keep packaging, so it doesn't matter what happens to it. And let's take a look at the Pico Pico Hammer first, shall we? If we can get into it. Um, I do remember reading that the Pico Pico Hammer can... I can't remember if it can change its weight or if it just, in general, weighs, like, a set amount of metric tons. But regardless of what it is, it meant that Amy was incredibly powerful and probably, arguably, the strongest character in the entire Sonic franchise. You know what? Actually, we're going to just look at Amy first because the Pico Pico Hammer is in refusal. Um, we may need to destroy the box in order to get it out. So we managed to free the arms and the legs of Amy. It's just the body, then the head, and then the leg. And there we go. It's actually it's actually a very good looking figure. Um if I do say so. So there we go, but let's get out the Pico Pico Hammer, which this is the first, this is one of the first few accessories that really makes things with the character because um, a lot of the accessories, they are, you know, things like the, um, you know, this little uh, thing, I've forgotten what it's called, the little bonus check marker or the little ten rings. I do like when they come with Chaos Emeralds, Chaos Emeralds are pretty awesome. But um, this is one that actually makes sense. Uh, it's hollow, um, but it's well articulated. It looks the part. It looks exactly what the Pico Pico Hammer looks like. So I think Sonic Adventure 1 was the first time that she got the Pico Pico Hammer. So it does fit perfectly into her hand, which is very cool to see. And she's got that kind of menacing, like, almost like serial killer kind of look <laughs> that happy grin in her face holding this big giant pico pico sledgehammer um so the head does rotate but not very well because these little spikes at the back are hitting off the shoulders that you can see there so you've got a bit of movement there the legs are the same they move up they move back uh do they rotate out they do indeed so you can do that and she has the knee bend as well and of course the feet are on a ball joint so um we do have another modern amy but uh not with us uh, that it was the what version was that was that jasper might have been jasper mm, i can't remember um oh actually no it wasn't it was oh what was the animated sonic series called Oh my goodness, um, but it was part of that series that you had the modern Amy. Sonic Boom. <laughs> it was the Sonic Boomy. My goodness, my memory was being tested there. But um, we do have a classic uh, Amy um, by comparison. So this is actually quite cool. You can see the, the difference that the character went through. So classic Amy is of course from her first encounter in Sonic CD and modern Amy is from her first appearance in Sonic Adventure which was the the first real one of the 3D games. I know there were things like Sonic Blast and Sonic 3D and such but the first proper, you know, 
well, it was it was the first major one on the Dreamcast. And it's what really kind of brought Sonic back into the limelight was the Sonic Adventure. And of course, Amy was a playable character in that, and she had a completely new design. So, uh, let's get the gimmick on. There we go. And we can compare Amy to her classic counterpart, like so. So, I think the Amy is a very, very cool figure. It's a cool addition. Um, I think the next things we're going to need is we're going to need Team... Is it Team Rose from Sonic Heroes? So we're going to need a Big the Cat, and we're going to need a Cream and Cheese. Cream the Rabbit and Cheese the Chow, of course. And I think Cream and Cheese made their origins in Sonic X, the animated series, um, but I can't... I know that um, they played a part in the DS game, Sonic Rush, I think it was called, but I couldn't tell you what the origin is beyond that um, as to which one came first. Um, of course, Chows were first in Sonic Adventure 1 with Chaos. Oh, apparently uh, we're getting a Chaos figure, which is very, very exciting for me. I assume it's Chaos Form Zero and not Perfect Chaos, because that would be... Well, I mean, it would be amazing. I would absolutely buy a Perfect Chaos if it came as a giant playset thing, um, even if it's just coming out of a building or whatever, um, and not like, you know, the full version. Um, I think that would be very, very cool to see. But I suspect that it's going to be more the the playable version of Chaos that you could get in Sonic Adventure 2 when you're playing as Knuckles. Um, I think it's going to be that. Or, actually, Chaos, I think, replaces Rouge, and I think Tikal replaces Knuckle. Uh, so, there we go. A little bit of information on Sonic for you. But that is going to be the end of this video, and it's also the end of this little Sonic unboxing series for just now does not mean that we are finished and does not mean that we are done. We still have some other videos to do, but this is going to be the end of this recording session. I've just finished 10 videos, so you should have plenty to watch. I'm not sure what the next unboxing is going to be, but it's going to be um, maybe a little while before we see it. But I mean, for you guys, uh, there might be an unboxing video again tomorrow, or there could be a little gap between the next unboxing video. I haven't decided. I still have plenty of other things to unbox. There's still plenty of Mortal Kombat Strong Collectibles um, that I've still got sealed that need unboxing. Uh, we've got some... I do actually have some more Sonic stuff, but they're very expensive. Um, and I might do a little video about that. Um, so, uh, I do actually have the figure, the, the box set of um, Sonic, Zarowak and Infinite. It's the only way to get the Infinite figure. And um, it is incredibly rare, shockingly so. Um, like, hardly ever shows up on the internet. I had to pay quite a bit to get it, and it was imported from America. So I'm very pleased with it. And that might be a special video, like maybe um, 5,000 subscriber video or something like that. Uh, at the moment, we're at 3,266 subscribers. So. If you guys want to see some very cool, very special, very rare content, uh, that's not the only one I've got. I also have uh, the comic book 2 set of Modern Metal Sonic and Classic Metal Sonic. I've also got the um, the sets of um, the Modern Knuckles and Classic Knuckles, Modern Tales, Classic Tales, and Modern Sonic and Classic Sonic. Um, and also a magazine box set version of Sonic and Knuckles. So, I don't know how many of those I'm going to unbox. I am going to, don't know how many of them I'm just going to keep sealed. Haven't decided yet. But um, if it's something that you guys really want to see, then I would consider it. But with that said, folks, um, I think that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. And if you enjoyed it, do check out the unboxing playlist. Uh, we've got an unboxing playlist. We've got a Sonic exclusive playlist. Uh, we've also got one for Storm Collectibles, we've got ones for all sorts, and maybe check out some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, we play some games, there's Card Fight, well, we also have a Sonic card game as well that we play on occasion. Um, there is occasional computer games that get put up, um, board games, all sorts. Uh, we do lots of fun stuff on this channel. I try to keep it fun, 
I mean, it is called the Grand Cat Channel. It's not meant to be serious. Um, it is for all big old Grand Cat lovers out there. With that said, that's going to be the end of this video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.